Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Simpson Sports Network. I'm Connor Sutton, joined this week by the women's basketball team, the three all-conference first-team players from the women's basketball team, Kelsey Duran, Esther Wofford, and Fallon Greenhaw. Thank you guys all for being here. I appreciate it. Kelsey, we'll start with you. Uh, your first year in a Red Ox uniform last year. Uh, what are you looking forward to in this next year? Um, I'm really looking forward to playing with um, a lot of local players that I used to play against in high school. It's really cool that we could all come together and play on the same team. So. Yeah, and Derek Pringle, your head coach, has added a lot of new faces to this roster. How have you personally adjusted to having all those new faces? I'm honestly just really excited. It's going to be fun. Um, like I said, being able to play with them um, after having played against them. and It's going to be cool to have a lot of local support now, now that we have more local players. So. Uh, next question, Esther. You guys have a lot more depth in this upcoming year compared to last year with injuries and foul trouble really hurts you guys late in games. How nice is that going to be knowing that you don't have to stay out of foul trouble because there literally wasn't anybody else left on the bench? Um, yeah, it'll be nice just to have a, a deep bench and um, just all around really good team. Um, knowing that we don't have to do everything and we have help everywhere um, is just nice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Fallon, how nice is it going to be that you hopefully aren't going to have to run the center this year as you had to do a couple times last year, again with injuries and foul trouble? Um, it'll, it'll be nice. Uh, I think coming in, even as a freshman transfer, you're going to be asked to do stuff that you're not normally used to doing. So I think, um, I mean, I knew that coming in, stepped into it. Definitely wasn't the best at it, but... It'll be really nice. Um, we have a lot of good uh, posts coming in, so that's cool. And yeah, I'm excited. Let's talk about this team as a whole. How close-knit is this group of people, Val? Um, I think, I mean, even the new people coming in, I think we're honestly more, more close than I guess necessarily we should be. I don't know. Uh, a, lot of, a lot because we have so many local players and we know um, I mean, I guess we kind of been around each other. We have kind of grown up playing against them, like Kelsey said. So yeah, I think I think uh, the more we just get to hang out and stuff, will be will be good. Esther, sure you guys have about a month and a half before your first game. What is this first month of practices and training camp going to be like for you guys? Um, this is by far the most important month um, that we can go through. Um, because it's our time to take advantage of getting in shape, but more importantly, just growing together as a team and meshing together, learning each other's strengths and weaknesses and um, just accepting each other for who we are. And the more we do that in this month, the better off we will be in the month and down the road when playoffs come and just throughout the season. So not only is it time to grow um, athletically, but also just um, as a team growing together. Kelsey, what is one thing that you think the team as a whole needs to improve on from last year? Um, <laughs> I think one of the things that we could improve on would be finishing off games better. I think last year we had a lot of games that were um, really close and we had the opportunity to finish it off and win and we just didn't have um, the bench to do it and I think this year we have enough players and enough um, people to have the energy to um, have what it takes to finish off games. and when they're close like that, so. Thank you guys. Fallon Greenaw, Esther Wofford, Kelsey Jern, thank you guys for joining us on this week's Red Hawk Sports Network. <laughs>